Thank you. Good morning, council members. Uh, my name is Erin Coomer. I'm here on behalf of Youth Care's Board of Directors in support of an annual inflation adjustment for human service providers. Youth Care serves youth and young adults experiencing homelessness in Seattle and King County. I've been on the Youth Care's Board for six years and know that this is a recurring issue. The topic of staff wages, recruitment, and retention have come up almost every board meeting. As Evelyn Correa, uh, our human resources officer, shared last week, Youth Care's annual turnover rate in 2018 was 38%, and this year it's now 44%. Our partnership with the city is very important to us. We know that you share Youth Care's mission in ending youth homelessness here in Seattle. It's very hard to fulfill that mission when turnover is constant and positions remain vacant. When city contracts don't cover the rising rates of inflation, providers have to pick up the tab for the increased costs of maintaining and sustaining services. Costs like rent, repairs, insurance, sewage, uh, things like that. This puts us providers in a position where we have to use unrestricted funds, which you know are limited. Uh, funds that could otherwise go toward paying staff a livable wage in order to keep the doors open and the lights on. As a board member, I'm very proud of our staff and the work that they do on a daily basis. I want them to view youth care as a place where they can have a sustainable career, not to mention job security. But we cannot provide a livable wage, and youth care becomes a stepping stone rather than a destination. Our city is a leader in so many ways, and I believe we can lead on this issue as well. Ensuring that providers keep up the costs of doing business is an essential first step in stabilizing human service infrastructure in our city and bringing us closer to realizing our vision of becoming an inclusive and equitable city. Thank you for your consideration. Thank you so much.